Okay, I'm going to set up the video real quick. Um, so a few days before uh, going to Dogfish Head and then to SJ's, um, I thought, man, there's going to be like five brewing experts there. And uh, I could actually tap their knowledge on a variety of different beer subjects. And I thought, you know, my SJ Port entry, which was a milk stout for this year, um, it didn't turn out as, as good as I thought it would and didn't place as well as I thought it would. But um, so I thought, you know, I have all these guys up here who are experts. Why don't I just bring some of those beers up with me and see what the guys think, get some of their advice, get some pointers on what I could do for next time. So, um, so as, when the video opens up, I'm setting up for this. Uh, I'm giving a, you know, a little, little tasters to everybody so they can help me out. And it was great. They did an awesome job. Thanks all you guys for your help with my, uh, with my SJ4 entry uh, for this year. And maybe it'll help me for next year. Thanks a lot. Here's the video. Homebrew 62 here with my SJ4 offering. Uh, it was a milk stout. And I've got the guys here uh, from the uh, SJ Port Convention uh, here in Pennsylvania, September 2004, Lermo 22. We've got Pat's fan. We've got Paul Wickstein here. And, yeah, that's a, that's a, and main brew guy, Gary. And SJ Port himself! No way. Yes. Bomb. Oh! <laughs> that's no bomb when you're supposed to be in it. <laughs> oh, I guess so, yeah, right? Yeah, that's a tight, that's a tight Now, this beer, this beer, I'm going to get some suggestions because I wasn't really, really happy with it. It has a good flavor, but I'm thinking the body might be uh, have to be increased. But uh, we'll see what the guys think. To pour a little. I've got I've got a couple more over there, too, so. Remove it. Thank you very much. It's a milk stout. It's called Black Cow Milk Stout. Honest opinion, go ahead. It's okay. It's, it's a sweet stout, definitely. Oh, wow, well, I've never had anything like that before. What's it need? What's it, uh, what's it need? What's it lacking? What is it lacking? What? I, I think it's okay. I mean, it's, it's, the bubbles are too big. Too much? It, uh, it's, it's a little bit too, too carbonated. A little bit too bubbly. Really? Like okay. If the bubbles were really, really fine. It right. Would be a little bit more creamier because it's got that sort of creamy taste in it, but it mm -hmm. doesn't. It disappears on tongue real fast. Right. And um, now that would be with the carbonation. Mm. So, but we didn't have that in the competition. It was flat. It was so actually. You have, uh, you have lactose. Yes. Okay. Half a pound per five gallons. Right. So that's your sweetener, at least. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's what makes it sweet. Mm -hmm. So, did you add any oatmeal? No, there's no oatmeal in it. No. Oatmeal will help with it. Yeah. yeah, might help. Can, yeah, yeah, add a little bit of, uh, add a little more body. The yeah. Body on it's really nice. Or malt, uh, the uh, flake barley would work. I was, I was thinking flake barley, maybe some wheat in there. What do some, you think? Yeah, some torrified wheat. Torrified yeah, wheat? It'll give that roasty, that roasty flavor. Right. Cool. It's not, all in all, it's not bad. Yeah. Good, well, thank you. Drinkable. Thank you, thank you. What did you use for yeast? I used SO5, US05. Okay, yeah. All right. So it didn't actually, that's interesting that you said that because I would have expected O5 to take, well, okay, the lactose is putting your sweetness back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But so uh, would, you, uh, would you mash it? What's that? Would you mash in it? Uh, 150 exactly. Maybe yeah, 150. Go a little higher. Maybe you're yeah. just getting that lactose sweetness. That's all you're that's getting. Yeah. You're not getting the malt. Sweetness. You're not getting the. You're not getting the. That's uh, good. It's not that's, carrying. That's, that's, that's it's not carrying the lactose. It's a yeah. little bit of oxid oxidization. Yeah. yeah. Think so? Yes. I just taste a little bit of that. Right. Um, but that's, I think that's just bubble. Right. Maybe a little more. Sure. It's that. It's that horrible. I need another try. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've I've got a lot. So. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Good? So, yeah, yeah. Good. Look at that timer here. What, what's your timer doing? Cool. Thank you. Yep. So, yeah, I would uh, probably mash in at uh, 150 to 154. Yeah. Um, oatmeal, something to carry that little creaminess more. Little flake barley? Yeah, something. What about the carbonation? What can, what can I do to get the tighter bubbles? I, yeah, the bubbles are pretty small. 
Mm -hmm. But probably the body that you're going to add to it with the oatmeal will yeah. help with the um, with the mouthfeel and the carbonation. Mm -hmm. It just feels like it just it dries off real fast. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's 150 is your mash temp. Is a lot right. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably do 65 as a mash temp. <laughs> in New Zealand. <laughs> so what's that, 150? Approximately? Yeah. <laughs> right, sounds good. That's what he did, 150. Oh, you, you got cool. yourself yeah. a real nice base to start with. Yeah. This. this is yeah. a really nice beer. This is like the third time I've brewed this, but I've tried different things. I went to a John Palmer's book. I think it's, uh, I forgot which page it was, but he said, he said, add oatmeal, but he said, cook it first. Use lots of water and cook it. And I did, then I added it. The, the last batch was, it was just completely flat. I mean, it didn't, it didn't make. So I think if I added oatmeal next time, I would probably not cook it. Yeah, yeah, I would. You know, would. I've never heard of that, but I tried it and it just didn't work. You know, it's one of those things, but. Well, th well, thank you guys for your help. Appreciate it. Did, did you get you got that out of a book, right? Not the internet. The uh, which which the uh, advice yeah. about the oatmeal? The oatmeal. Yes, yeah, how to brew. Yeah, true. Everything. Zombie <laughs> <laughs> <Stop me> apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> it's on, it's on the internet. It has to be.